Hi guys and hi RJ. Um, so RJ so very generously sent me some very unique scents to try and some I have never even heard of. So thank you so much RJ. Um, and one of the scents he sent to me I will be reviewing today and it is Aramis Perfume Calligraphy Rose. So RJ has or maybe I should say, say had. Um, he's unfortunately not reviewing anymore on YouTube. But if you haven't done so already, you can check out the videos that he's done in the past. And um, he has just a great personality. And he does these uh, detailed and honest reviews. And I'm really missing his presence here on YouTube. Um, so um, before I start the review, let me just say uh, this this perfume hasn't really been uh, reviewed much here on YouTube. RJ, of course, has done a review and I have refrained myself from watching it because I didn't want his um, opinion of it to influence me. And so I um, will watch it as soon as I'm done with this review and I'm excited to see if our um, points of view match up or not. Um, so let's get right into this. Oh, and let me link you to RJ's channel and his review of this perfume down below. So the notes are oregano, saffron, honeysuckle, Turkish rose, myrrh, styrax, lavender, labanum, musk, ambergris, and olibanum. The main accords are balsamic, rose, smoky, amber, warm, spicy, and musky. So um, it starts off really um, syrupy and right away you get that rose and um, what soon to follow is um, uh, smoked woods and spices and these are at the helm with that syrupy sweet rose and um, they help to um, uh, really uh, tone down the syrupy sweetness and um, as it begins to uh, dry down on um, skin it takes on a dusty feel and um, then in the base there's this musk and um, it's a dark rose that reminded me of Juliet Has a Gun's Midnight Oud. And so I went and fetched my sample of Midnight Oud and put it on the other arm. And um, that's when their differences really are noticeable. Next to Midnight Oud, Calligraphy Rose feels um, quite unrefined. Um, for me personally, the syrupiness and um, the musky base really um, makes this fragrance notes become indistinctive. And um, when sniffed up close to skin, it has a very um, synthetic kind of feel and it's headache inducing. But um, there's a big but here, um, but uh, it's sillage. is very, very nice. Um, to those around you, they will sense a uh, um, sweet rose that is uh, spicy and dark, and it creates a really beautiful scent aura around the wearer, and it definitely is palpable to people around you and um, it's very nice to be around. Just um, sniffing up close to skin causes me a headache um, but you know really for the price um, at $68.99 for a 100 ml bottle I cannot um, 
really complain really um it's a it's a great price and it's uh creates a beautiful sillage and this fragrance is uh, wears really nicely in the cold weather so it's got the thumbs up from me um and so let's talk about performance um I get around eight hours of longevity and as I said the projection and sillage is moderate to heavy so it's a good performer at uh, an excellent price and so um, I um, yeah, I rec I would say that I would recommend it if you're looking for um, an affordable um, winter ro spicy rose perfume. Um, so that is my take on this fragrance. And um, thank you again, RJ, for giving me the opportunity to try this one out. And I will see you guys soon.